to the shop. Today is going to be a continuance, uh, a few more operations on the uh, 2009 Anvil. Um, this channel is not meant to be instructional at all, so if that's not readily apparent yet, then I'll do my best to be certain it is. Uh, it's just filled with shenanigans. So anyway, today's going to be uh, operations that we'll be using uh, the end mill um, and or the face mill. That's that's called a face mill. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I don't know where the heck I put the in the mill, but well, you're gonna have to change the bits. But the face mill and the end mill, um, and we we're not gonna be able to do what I want to do with that two millimeter end mill. But the end mill and the face mill, um, and I've got a couple of holes uh, to put in there for some features I want to include on the anvil. Um, and for those who missed the anvil, um, this is as far as I've gotten. And this is a, a refab of something I did in, in 2009. Uh, and I was just learning to weld, so the, the, make, your, make your judgment the way you do. But there's some porosity and some other stuff. But as far as a little jeweler's anvil goes, it's about as good as it's going to get for me. So got some operations to do back here, uh, and I want to dress the edges. Um, and I've got... Uh, a couple of features I want to add on the face of the of the anvil so that's pretty much what today's video is going to be all about so welcome to the shop and let's get to it shall we so first things first I have to take the mill speed up to 720 rpm uh, and that's accomplished using these belts so I'm gonna walk you through that real quick. So, the mill came with this, which you can't make out at all, of course, because it's shiny, right? Came with this little thing, uh, which tells me what belts to attach where <coughs> to accomplish what speeds. Um, and I need to be around 720. all the way on the top so that's one and six on the back so yeah it's not complicated at all so there's one six Six. Get this out. Tension this thing. And let's see if we can't blow a circuit breaker. No, oh, that works out fine. So next up, I suppose, because we're doing 
end milling as opposed to face milling. We'll be uh, swapping that out. And of course, I'm standing right in the way, right? So I need to make room for the. Uh, Loosen this guy so that we can pull the drill chuck out. Drill chuck is out. Um, where did I put you, oh mighty end mill? There you are. So I set the end mill up with a 12 millimeter four flute. I did that off camera, of course. Oh, bunk and that's set up and again lots of tightening patient tightening all right there's that make sure we're loose um and where's the project where did I put it now? Oh, there it is. And now I'm going to set the project up. So let's pause this. And now I suppose it's time to take a moment and set the project up. Hopefully there's room in here. Well, there was room last time I did it, so there should be room. Actually, I should be up to take a few minutes and tram. So I'm going to do that off camera. Okay, off camera, I took a few minutes to uh, get the vice square. Uh, it's apparently called tramming. Well, whatever. I used this and got the vice square uh, for the cuts that I need to make. Now I'm going to take a break and come back to some machining, I suppose. I'm going to run that end mill, which is, which is not the face mill. Like uh, the two of them, I keep getting the names confused. Uh, and how many RPM am I running? Uh, that's a really good question. So I'm running, I think it's 600 something. It's I couldn't get to the target that I was trying to get to. So I am currently running, uh, what does that say, 600 something? 601 RPM. The next option was 820, which was 100 RPM higher than I needed to be. Uh, and I'd rather err on a, on a slower speed than a higher speed, so I don't burn up the end mill. Uh, so there's a correction here to be made. Uh, looking at my chart, I realize I'm running at 820 RPM, which I believe was the balance between, so it's 720 RPM for the end mill. Um, and uh, and I think it was 450 or something for the face mill I'll have to look that up when I get to that but uh, so this is this speed that's over that I just finished setting up on the mill uh, is really just for the end mill operation then I'll have to lower the speed for the face milling operations that I have in mind and Maybe that'll work for the the half inch hole that I want to drill uh, as a feature, but we'll, we'll figure that out when I get to that point, I suppose. Just a disclaimer: there will be quite a bit of noise as I'll be running my cooling system, uh, and that means the air compressor will fire while I'm doing this operation.
Well, I just blew my first circuit breaker of the day, uh, and I figured I'd start the video because I always forget to do that. So let's keep going. All right, because I'm lazy, I'm going to take a, a hand drill. I don't want to reset and do all the work on the mill to be able to, to drill these on the mill. So this is these are just to mount the anvil somewhere. Uh, and this is going to be probably part two of this because there's a few more operations I want to get to on this, including cleaning, the cleaning uh, and making it into a saleable item. I skipped all the deburring. Uh, Again, using the using the files, I was like, yeah, well, nobody wants to watch that. Uh, and I'm gonna hand drill these. So uh, with uh, ah, let's see if I can dig it out here. I haven't used it in a while. There it is. With uh, probably a really old drill, but. It's what I got. So this is what we're going to use to drill it out. Uh, and I suppose I'll bring you back when that's done. Okay, the mounting holes are drilled. Probably need to be deburred. On the uh, back side, let's take a look. I don't imagine that this is picking up a lot of audio, but we'll figure that out when we have an opportunity to. Well, it actually looks pretty good. Uh, I do want to make some flat spots, so I think I'll save this, the rest of this project for another video later. But that's not bad for a day's worth of progress. Okay, not bad for a day's worth of progress. Um... This will just be a part two because I have some more operations to do down here. But I did get the mounting holes set in, which was one of my goals today, and got the uh, bottom plate faced and uh, end milled on the edge. So it's square now. Um, and I'm not going to put you down because every time I do, you fall on something I care about. But there's some deburring to be done and some uh, flat spots that need to be put in uh, here. Uh, along these hardwares uh, to accommodate uh, bolts uh, or nuts so when the bolts come up through uh, they have a flat place to sit and blah 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 so this will just have to do for part two thanks for coming along for the ride I sure appreciate it um, you really need to sit somewhere where you're not going to kill my stuff thanks <laughs> So uh, until next time, uh, take a moment and like and subscribe, uh, and I'll see you then.